be sure and follow the steps in sanitation and prep before proceeding to application. Also before applying your semi-permanent color, you will want to be sure to do all of your filing to the shape of the nails. Semi-permanent color comes from the soft gel category. It is much more flexible than the gels in the hard gel category. The softer gel is much more forgiving. If you file or shape the nails after application, there is not as much risk that you will break the free edge seal. However, to be sure that you have the best application possible, we recommend that you do all of your shaping and shortening prior to application. Before using any of your colors containing pigment, you must stir your gel. Color pigments may settle. This settling will disrupt the chemical balance. Settled pigment will prevent the bottom of the container from curing. It will have too much pigment and not enough gel. By stirring prior to use each time, you will maintain the perfect pigment to gel ratio. Always do this before you prep the nails. This will give the color time to release any trapped air bubbles. The first coat is always the clear base. This is a very thin application, so thin you may just see texture from your prep procedure after applying the base coat. Stay away from the skin, just like any gel application allowing the base coat to touch the skin and cure there will cause lifting. Now push your brush and base coat off to the side, safe from the UV light. Be advised if your manicure table is near a window, the UV light from the sun can cure the base coat or color in the hairs of your brush and ruin it. Just keep it covered when you are not using it. Always store it in a dark place. This first base coat needs to be cured for 30 seconds in a no less than 9 watt UV light. Tunnel lights containing four 9-watt bulbs is also recommended. Now it is the time for your first coat of color. Again, thin, even coats are best. Like polish, you will not get true color in your first coat. The true color will be revealed with the second color coat. Be sure to stay off the skin. Remember applying semi-permanent color is just like polishing a nail.
Tip, if you do touch the skin, a spare clean brush dipped in finishing wipe is a great way to clean your mistake. Cure this layer for three minutes in a nine watt UV light. Various pigments can take more time or less time to cure. The safe rule of thumb is to just cure all colors at least three minutes. Apply your second coat of color. Thin is the key to perfect application. This coat will reveal the true color. Cure for three minutes in the 9 watt UV light. Once your nails are cured, it is time to remove the induction layer. This is the sticky layer left behind from the cure. You need to use the finishing wipe on a lint-free towelette. Only use the towelette per nail. If you wipe more than one nail with the same towelette, you will make the other nails dull by adding the induction layer to the other nails. Also, do not panic if you see pigment on the towelette. A small amount is normal. There is still some pigment in the induction layer. If you have cured for the correct amount of time in the proper light and remove the induction layer correctly, your nails should be shiny. Don't panic if your nail shine isn't perfect. You still need to seal and protect your beautiful nails. Semi-permanent colors are soft gels. The key to soaking off the color is the fact that it is very porous. But because they are porous, they can still stain over time when exposed to the elements of living. For example, black leather gloves without a lining can make your nails appear dirty. By applying a single coat of top coat to each of the nails, you will protect the nails from staining. This will also return the shine if you had made any slight mistakes. Do not forget to finish with the cuticle oil.